Graco's Quick Pack Cartridge Repair System allows you to repack your pump in minutes. These modular pre-oiled cartridge packings install correctly every time. Available for these Graco models, this video will demonstrate how to repair your pump in minutes using the Graco Quick Pack Cartridge Repair System. Since a pressurized pump could cause serious injury, always perform the pressure relief procedure before cleaning, checking, or servicing the equipment. Engage the trigger lock. Turn the pressure down. Turn the on-off switch to off. And disconnect power on electric units. Disengage the trigger lock. Hold the metal part of the gun firmly to a grounded metal pail. Trigger the gun to relieve pressure. Engage the trigger lock. Turn the prime valve to the prime position until ready to spray again. If you suspect the spray tip or hose is clogged, or that pressure has not been fully relieved after following the pressure relief procedure, follow these additional steps. After the pressure relief procedure has been performed, it is safe to remove the pump from the sprayer. Secure the pump and remove the packing nut, packing nut o-ring, and dust shield. Unscrew the intake valve from the cylinder. Disassemble the intake valve. Remove the seat, intake ball, ball cage, and white o-ring. Clean and inspect both sides of the seat and intake valve for any damage. Remove and discard the black o-ring from the outside of the cylinder. Tap the piston rod out of the cylinder. The sleeve may come out with the piston rod. If not, Remove it by placing the flathead of a screwdriver into the groove in the sleeve and tapping the screwdriver with a hammer. The sleeve has two O-rings, a white one at the top and a black one at the bottom. Remove and discard them both. Be sure to remove the white O-ring if it doesn't come out with the sleeve. Remove the piston from the sleeve, clean, and inspect. Secure the piston and unscrew the piston valve from the piston rod using an adjustable wrench. The piston has a special thread locking and sealing patch. Do not remove this. The thread sealing patch is good for up to three repacks. Remove and discard the old packings, glands, and piston ball from the piston rod. Remove and discard the throat packings and glands from the cylinder. All Quick Pack Piston Repair Kit parts are pre-oiled in proper orientation and designed for one-way installation. Aim the directional arrow on the side of the piston kit toward the rod and slide it onto the piston. Install the ball into the piston rod. Apply only a drop of thread sealant to the piston threads. Too much will make future repairs impossible. Slightly screw the piston valve onto the piston rod to keep the packing in place. Remove and discard the disposable piston clip from the piston packings. Pull the wiper and washer onto the piston valve shoulder. Then tighten the piston valve to the piston rod. Insert the quick pack throat packing cartridge into the cylinder. Press until it's securely in place. Hold the blue collar in place while lifting the throat cartridge. Remove and discard the disposable throat cartridge. Then remove and discard the disposable throat collar. Replace the packing nut O-ring. Install the new dust shield into the packing nut. Loosely screw the packing nut onto the cylinder just until it touches the packing stack. Position a new black O-ring onto the sleeve and liberally grease the piston packings. Slide the sleeve over the piston using a plastic hammer to ensure the rod is completely installed. 
approximately center the packings in the sleeve. Position a new white O-ring onto the sleeve, making sure it rests flat. Liberally grease the piston rod. Slide the sleeve and piston rod assembly into the bottom of the cylinder and ensure at least two inches of the piston rod sticks out through the packing nut. Replace the outside O-ring onto the cylinder. Reassemble the intake valve with a new O-ring, old seat, new ball, and old ball cage. Some models include VibraSeal, which protects pumps from packout. Reassemble pumps with VibraSeal in this order. New O-ring, old seat, VibraSeal, new ball, old ball cage. Pumps with and without VibraSeal may also include a spring, which helps the ball seat faster. Reassemble pumps with both VibraSeal and a spring in this order. New O-ring, old seat, VibraSeal, new ball, old ball cage, and spring. Reassemble pumps with a spring but without VibraSeal in this order. New O-ring, old seat, new ball, old ball cage, and spring. Lubricate the black O-ring on the sleeve. Secure the pump. Install the intake valve on the cylinder and tighten the packing nut. Install the pump to your sprayer. Your pump is now ready to spray.